If you're struggling with internet connectivity issues in Windows 11 or Windows 10, such as websites not loading, slow browsing speeds, or frequent network disconnections, resetting the TCP IP stack help resolve the problem. The TCP IP stack or Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol is foundational communication protocol of the internet and most local networks. It determines how your PC interacts with other computers and the internet. Over time, software misconfigurations, malware or improper network settings can cause the TCP IP stack to malfunction. Resetting it clears any custom settings and restores the stack to its default state. There are several scenarios where resetting the TCP IP stack is a logical troubleshooting step, such as internet works on other devices, but not on your Windows PC. You see frequent no internet access or unidentified network messages. Network troubleshooting reports Windows can't communicate with the device or resource. Websites are extremely slow to load or fail to load entirely. Well, the easiest and quickest method to reset the TCP IP stack in Windows PC is open the command prompt as administrator and run NTSH INT IP reset command. This process requires administrator privileges, so ensure you're logged into an admin account. Well, if you see resetting failed, access is denied. This usually occur if the system registry keys related to TCP IP are missing proper permissions. Press Windows plus R, type regedit and press enter to open the registry editor. Now locate and expand the hky underscore local underscore machine key. Next expand the system then current control set. Now expand control. Scroll down and look for NSI. Expand it. Now locate and expand the F004009 Bivane 1129123005007759 BC. Right click on 26, then select permissions. Select everyone and ensure check mark full control next to allow. Click apply and OK to save changes. Close registry editor. Now again open command prompt as administrator. Then run the NETSH INT IP reset command. Now check there is no more access denied error. You only need to restart your PC to apply changes. In addition, run NETSH WinSock reset command that helps recover the computer from any socket errors that arise when you download some unknown file or due to a malicious script on the computer. Next, reset your network configuration using ipconfig slash release. This command tells the computer to release its currently assigned IP address and run ipconfig slash renew command to request a new IP address from the DHCP server. And finally, run ipconfig slash flush DNS command to clears your DNS cache and removes old and inaccurate DNS information. Once the command completes, restart your computer to apply the changes and check if your internet connection is working perfectly. Well, if resetting the TCP IP stack doesn't resolve your issue, you need to perform additional steps like restart the laptop and router modem. Try run the build in Network Troubleshooter to identify problems like incorrect settings, IP address conflicts, hardware malfunctions, and more, and then it attempt to fix these issues or provide recommendations. Outdated or corrupted network drivers can cause issues like slow speeds, disconnections, or no internet access on your PC. Updating to the latest version improve the stability and performance of your network adapter and resolve internet problems. You can update drivers via device manager or visit your PC or network adapter manufacturer's website to download and install the latest drivers.
If nothing works, resetting network settings removes and reinstalls all network adapters including Wi-Fi, Ethernet or VPN, deletes saved Wi-Fi networks and resets DNS, proxy and IP configurations to their default values. This essentially wipes the slate clean for your network settings, which can be helpful for troubleshooting connectivity issues. Also run a full system scan with Windows Defender or a trusted antivirus to rule out infections affecting network settings. Persistent issues may indicate a problem with your internet service provider or network configuration. Connect internet service provider, explain your problem and ask them for help or check on their site for issue.